Hello, it's Sam here, editor of Oracle Time, and today I'm here with the Bremont H4 Hercules. It's been a minute since Bremont have cannibalised a national treasure for one of their watches, but now they're back and in a big way with the H4 Hercules, a tribute to an aircraft better known as the Spruce Goose. The Spruce Goose, for those not obsessed with vintage aircraft, is an American national treasure which, at its initial flight in 1947, was the largest, most ridiculous aircraft ever built. The watch, on the other hand, is very much a tried and tested formula for Bremont. It has the triptych three-part case rather than the cheaper two-parters that make up the Armed Forces collection. It's available in rose gold and platinum, but the one we have here is the steel, and a big piece of metal it is too. Like most Bremont pieces with this case, it's solid on the wrist and nice and weighty. It feels like it could survive practically anything, which is in fact what the triptych case is designed for. Tested beyond endurance after all. Still, the 43mm diameter suits the dial dimensions nicely. If it were any smaller, the 24 hour inner bezel would be awkward to read. As it is, the 1940s inspirations are in full swing, with a few hints of vintage brown on the day night indicator and around the numerals. Personally, I love everything about it. Still, this wouldn't be a Bremont Limited Edition without incorporating a relic from the original Spruce Goose. But in this case, they've actually used two. The first is the propeller shaped rotor, which uses birch from the H4 Hercules fuselage. The other is a piece of aileron fabric used in the packaging. Personally, I find the rotor a bit kitsch. I always do it watches. It's like an Omega with 007 written all across the dial, the difference being you don't actually need to stare at it the whole time. It's a shame because the rest of the movement is a damn fine one, a GMT equipped take on the BWC01 movement. It's a movement designed by La Joux Perret and is arguably the finest movement in Bremont's collection. That might be some indication as to why the H4 Hercules is so overpriced. As far as I'm concerned, £9,495 for a steel GMT is too much. Other than the birch rotor and slightly upgraded movement, I don't really see anything to justify why it is so much more expensive than the general Bremont collection. Sure, it's a limited edition, and a great looking one at that, but I don't feel like that's quite enough. Still, I guess you could always argue the case for rarity. After all, the platinum and rose gold versions are limited to just 75 each. The steel version we have here is limited to 300. Slightly more, but not exactly mass production. There's always a chance, of course, that Bremont will release a non-limited version in the near future, and maybe even knock a few thousand off. If that happens, I'm firmly on board, but until then it's much like the Spruce Goose itself. A great spectacle, but a practical impossibility. Thanks for listening, and as ever, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next.